You know you have six teammates. She's like my seventh teammate who I count in my head. When we were younger, like my dad was racing the crit. Always before the race, there was a, like for the young riders, there was a small race. I started as a cyclist. Femke started as a speed skater and then got into cycling. And I, my goal was to beat Rihanna like every day. <laughs> every stage she was fighting to finish in front of me. In uh, the, the championships when she won the stage, I saw she was in the front group and I was just like looking like this on the bike. Like, is she winning? And, and then I saw it. I'm not like really a crier, so I was like, but I also had to cry because he was so happy and I was so proud. I never cried uh, actually for Femke, but like I was really close when she crashed in Roubaix. I almost had to cry. I'm really proud about how I raced there. I think I did everything right and only, yeah, the track. <laughs> And we saw her crashing and like, yeah, you really feel heartbroken. It's almost feeling like you are losing yourself. Yeah, we spend a lot of time together. So when we can, we try to have dinner together, lunch, breakfast even sometimes. And sometimes we ride with the whole family together as well. We are quite different riders, so it's not that easy always. I'm more patient. Um, most of the time I'm the team captain as well. So uh, yeah, I'm normally the person who tries to stay calm and make uh, decisions in the race. I love to fight and race, so um, I'm more impulsive than Rihanna. Uh, so Femke is more uh, explosive and more a sprinter, which I'm like more towards climbing and harder stages. She's really strong on the sprint and sometimes she doesn't know it. So because last time we did also sprint and she just beat me and I was like, F <laughs> you were really strong. <laughs> Not all the time, but mostly yeah. I know where she's riding. Yeah, you just have the feeling. You feel where the other is riding. It's a bit of an instinct and it's also like you, of course, focus on it as well. We always look if we can help each other just a little bit, just to make sure like we are both in the front. I was riding in a Dutch champion jersey, of course, and all the Dutch people on the side of the road cheered for me. My parents were there, my boyfriend was there. Uh, it was not normal how the crowd was. It was so many people and I really loved that feeling. It was like incredible. My feeling after the first date, it was overwhelmed. It was like the best feeling in the world. Like the next day before the start, I straight away went to the camper uh, of Femke's team and I tried to search for her to see how she was looking in the jersey and I was happy I could take, make a picture for the socials together with her. <laughs> <laughs> when you are riding in the polka dot jersey, everyone is screaming to you like a polka dot jersey. I have one at home from last year because Marianne gave me one. That's really special, of course. I think it's a dream for every cyclist to have this. Yeah, of course, uh, a top uh, victory. That's like the dream for everyone who's riding there. Mm -hmm.